day would come. It's hallelujah. <laughs> Hellberg Barbecue joining us on the show today yeah. to not only talk about barbecue, but talk about their story, your journey, and really how, you know, a mention in, I don't know, Texas Monthly can do a big thing to your career. But welcome to nice. the show. nice, yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Of yeah. course. So what's, what's the latest? What's going on with the Texas Monthly thing? Tell us. Um, I mean, the latest, I guess, would be uh, the Way Cohen and Waco Today highlighted it in the August edition of those magazines, and that pushed a lot of traffic out to our brand new restaurant over on Highway 6. So that was really cool. We had a really good August, and we're just working our way every day towards, you know, expanding and building on the place that we have there, and yeah. just getting us ready to handle more people. You know, I love it. Fantastic. It's a family affair, which yeah. I like. That you guys are involved with all this. What do you think about? restaurant barbecue business that you're into right now? I never thought I'd be in the restaurant industry. <laughs> I thought I was going to be working in Major League Baseball. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and I graduated from college, and here I am in the restaurant industry. Uh, and you guys are doing quite well. Okay, let's get on to the main event here, yeah, which, is what do the, we got? which is the food. What do we have in front of us? All right, so I'll start with the meats. Um, of course, the crown jewel of any barbecue place in Texas is uh, brisket. Oh. We use a very special one. Um, it's 100% grass-fed. Prime, all natural, never given growth hormones or antibiotics. So, which how does that make the meat different? Uh, the the yeah, definitely with the the flavor, you get a more beefy flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, the fat just kind of melts like butter in your mouth, and it's got uh, they're incredibly consistent. You know, these mm -hmm. these kind of things come into play when you're looking at what kind of beef do you want to use day after day working in a restaurant and consistency is a very important thing mm -hmm. for us so that um, that paid, played a big part in our decision to go with it besides the fact that it's a really exclusive and new program a lot of people aren't using grass-fed um, and there are a lot of grain finished beef products out there that are great but we just think this takes it to the next level and of course you got turkey as well right yeah we have um, a pesto stuffed turkey which is unique to our place Beautiful. Um, the the way the turkey breasts come in the package it just kind of lends itself to a roulade uh, which is a cooking technique of butterflying stuffing something mm -hmm. and rolling it back up and cooking so that we applied that technique to our turkey with some pesto which we consider to be a pretty classic uh, flavor combination mm -hmm. and it's one of our biggest hits for sure I definitely and to round it out yeah, we have 100% uh, all beef, again, grass-fed uh, mm -hmm. sausage that we make in-house at the restaurant. Uh, we make this with the trimmings from the brisket. So that's, you know, kind of an ongoing process throughout the week. We're always trimming more, making more sausage, mm -hmm. you know, smoking it in-house, and then um, gets on the chopping block maybe two days later and after curing. And you slice up the brisket. Yvette, tell us about the sides that <laughs> yeah, you have. Yeah, what are these little numbers going on? So you we, cut the we brought two sides with us. We brought our mac and cheese, mm -hmm. which is topped with a French onion and potato chip. And then we have our street corn salad next to that. And last, we have our banana pudding with ginger snaps on top. I'm going to dig into the mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm you guys heard of burn ends? Yes. Oh. Uh, burn ends are my oh. favorite. Hang on. Did you just say burn ends? Yeah. Let's have one. Oh, we got we one got for our, each of us here. We got our two sauces, which we make both in house. We have our Alabama white sauce, mm -hmm. and we have our beer mustard sauce. I'm done. Oh my goodness. We opt for a mustard based barbecue sauce because it's really ideal for pork and for sausage, mm -hmm. which is what we prefer to use sauce with. We really try to steer people away from using sauce with the brisket. As you can see, it really doesn't need it. So It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't at all. You're not a pit what, master, you're an angel. <laughs> what, what are you experiencing right now? So what is that? Mac and cheese? Mac and cheese is insane. You have to do it. What is, so when I, there's, there are lines now. Mm -hmm. I've said they're the Franklin of Wake. You had a huge crowd. Last Saturday was your biggest crowd, right? That was our biggest sales day yet. Um, so we like, had. Wise up, people get in line early, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of people coming in now um, around six or seven on morning. Saturday. Well, no, on Saturdays, on evenings, because okay. a lot of nights we try to stay open for dinner as well. Okay. But we've had more and more people come in at 6, and we're out of everything. Yeah. And so we're slowly kind of training our community out there, especially on Saturdays, to show up early. I love it. And it's football season. Raquel and I, were, we were all talking about how we need to have barbecue for tailgate, too. Oh, it's perfect oh. for tailgating. I know. So. I won't go to a game unless we have barbecue. <laughs> and I'm not even quite sure if I care if the, game, if the team wins or loses. And you're able barbecue. to pre-order with us. Nice. That oh, is something good. to know is that up until 10 a.m. the day of, you can pre-order food from us to pick up at a certain time. Okay. And we will have that ready for you. So football game, tailgating, call us, email us, and we'll get you 
two this briskets is, ready for, to oh, go. This is some of the best food I've ever had in my life. And it's try so the turkey. Good. Good. Try the turkey. I'll try that. we got about a minute left in this segment. Real quickly, I want everyone to take advantage of the fact oh. that we have football, football season. So what do they need to do to put their orders in? And cut ahead of the line, by the way. Uh, well, they need to either call us um, on our, our phone that's listed on our you know, Google and show you right Maps page, yeah. um, or you can put in an email. You can actually go to our website to find our email, but it's just the Hellbergs at Hellberg Ranch, and um, just send us in a pre-order mm -hmm. request, or you know, and we'll get it written all down for you, and that way you can reserve your meat. You still will probably have to wait in a little bit of a line, but it'll be set aside. So even if we sell out in the middle of a line and you're at the end of it, you can come get your food. I know you love barbecue, but what do you like for people to cook for you yeah, well, when uh, you're not cooking? Sushi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, something what? raw, no. as opposed to something that takes about 16 hours to cook. I love it. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, we're going to go to break. Uh, check out the weather on the other side. Until then, we're going to be right here eating some barbecue. We'll see you in a few. So good.